Hey you guys, how's it going? I'm Veggie Rolls. Welcome back to our channel. If this is your first time stopping by, don't forget to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It looks like this. And the little notification bell next to it so that you will be notified every time a new video goes up, which is every Monday, Wednesday, and sweet Saturday. Sweet Saturdays, we do some sort of vegan dessert or some sort of sweet treat. And I wouldn't want you to miss it, so don't forget to subscribe. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a vegan chick on Parm. So it's going to be awesome and so delicious. Let's get ready. Alright guys, so let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing that we're going to be preparing is our vegan chick on. So we're going to go ahead and get started. I'm so sorry if you guys hear uh, the four-wheeler in the back. It's it snowed out here and everybody is in the back and, and the kids and Chris and all that. So they're waiting for me to finish up so I can go and have some fun in the snow. Not looking forward to it because I don't like the cold. But anyways, whatever. So the first thing that we have here is half of a cup of garbanzo beans. And I actually use the emulsifier to mash these really, really good. You can use a masher, but I just feel like the emulsifier works best. You could also uh, puree them um, in a uh, food processor. Uh, next, I'm going to be adding in half of a cup of vegetable broth. And just using a fork, you can use a whisk, whatever really. I'm just going to go ahead and mix this together. Alright, so now that our beans are completely mixed in with our liquid, we're going to go ahead and start adding in our flavor. And I'm actually going to be adding in one tablespoon of soy sauce. I'm also going to be adding in two tablespoons of nutritional yeast, and that's going to give it that umami flavor that we need. Um, and then we're also going to be adding in all these spices. The link for the full recipe will be down below, but I'll let you know anyways. I have one and a half, one and a half teaspoon of garlic powder, also one and a half teaspoons of onion powder, one teaspoon of paprika, one teaspoon of Italian seasoning, half a teaspoon of black pepper, half of a teaspoon of basil, and one teaspoon of salt. And that's just going to give... Uh, our seitan because that's what we're making. We're making our vegan chicken from seitan and that's what's going to give it so much flavor. So just mix that all really well. Next I'm going to be adding in our seitan or I'm sorry our vital wheat gluten flour. And this is the flour that I'm using. This is vital wheat gluten and this is uh, specifically for this recipe. You don't want to use like any other kind of flour. This flour will make um, that sort of like meaty texture that we're looking for in this recipe. So yes, a cup and a fourth. And then we're just going to go ahead and mix that up. So I'm going to knead this dough for about two minutes, two to three minutes. The more you knead this dough, the less spongy it is in the end. Alright guys, so I'm going to go ahead and just place this into an aluminum foil. Alright. And next thing we're going to do is just nice and tightly uh, roll that up. And then here in the ends, I'm just going to go ahead and pinch and roll under. Kind of like a candy. Pinch it. Roll it, you know, that good stuff. So we're going to go ahead and steam this for 45 minutes. And you want to check it halfway through and make sure the water hasn't evaporated all the way. And if it does, add a little extra water so it doesn't smoke up and burn. Alright guys, so I just finished draining some spaghetti, which I just made, um, what do you call it? Just kind of like almost al dente and I'm just drizzling on a little bit of olive oil on them. Next I'm just going to go ahead and crack a little bit of pepper on little sprinkling of salt, a tiny bit of spaghetti sauce. So I'm just going to cut up a little bit of uh, basil into our spaghetti and I'm just doing some fresh basil. Alright guys, so here we have our seitan which has been steaming for 45 minutes and I actually let it kind of like 
cool down and set for about 15 minutes. And we're not huge, huge fans of like meat substitutes here. So whenever we do have them, we like them to be cut very, very thin. So I'm just making it really, really thin. You can make it as thin, as thick as you like, but I'm making it nice and thin, especially for the kids who get really picky on stuff that tastes, that has like meat textures. All right guys, so for this amount of seitan, I'm gonna be using one cup of uh, breadcrumbs, about a cup of breadcrumbs. And if you're making more, you can definitely uh, just double this recipe. And into the breadcrumbs, I'm gonna be adding a fourth of a teaspoon of salt, one tablespoon of nutritional yeast, a fourth of a teaspoon of black pepper, half a teaspoon of paprika, and half a teaspoon of basil. And to that, I'm also going to be adding in a fourth of a cup of, of vegan cheese. And this vegan cheese is actually a new vegan cheese that just came out and I am trying out and I absolutely love because even though it says mozzarella, it actually reminds me a lot of... Um, of Parmesan cheese, so it's great for recipes like this. All right, guys, and here I just have a little mixture of water and flour, and that's all it is, just water and flour, and I, I get it to a mixture where it's just like, maybe like a little thicker than, um, than pancake. And I just add a pinch of salt and a little pinch of pepper, because I like to add layers of flavor to everything I cook. This is going to serve as our binder, so we're going to go ahead, dip our uh, seitan or chick un into our mix, and then I'm going to go ahead and toss it into our breading. And you're just going to continue to do this until the whole process is done, and I like to make sure I kind of like press it in. So it sticks. I'm going to go ahead and add some oil into a skillet. And I'm just going to cover just the bottom. I don't want to deep fry this. And I have the heat on medium high. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and add in our chick on. And you're just going to cook each side until it's nice and golden brown. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and flip this over. That looks so delicious. The cheese is getting nice and crispy. Alright, so this is nice and golden brown on both sides. And we're going to go ahead and remove this. And I just dumped out the oil, but I'm going to be adding in a little bit of kale. Just because I'd like to have some greens whenever I have pasta. And I'm just going to drizzle a little bit of olive oil over top. Salt and pepper. And a light sprinkle of garlic. Beautiful. Just like that. I'm going to go ahead and plate this guy, but since I'm being completely lazy and I don't want to put it in the oven to melt the cheese, which you absolutely can do. I'm actually going to take the easy way, put our marinara sauce on, and then I'm going to sprinkle the cheese over top, place it into the microwave for a couple seconds until it's all melted. I said cheese and me is coming over. Right, Mia? Alright guys, so we're going to go ahead and plate our spaghetti. Adding in a delicious bed of kale. These have a little bit of crunch to them, so they're like, almost like on the kale chip side, which we all know is delicious. For the star of our recipe, we added our vegan chicken parm. And of course, my camera cut off right in the moment where I was laying it on the bed of kale. But here it is. This is how beautiful it looks. All right, so it's time for the taste test cam. Mia is having some of her little kale chips. Is it good? Good. <laughs> okay, let me try these. I haven't had these in a little while now. 
All right. The closest taste to meat I've ever had. <laughs> he likes the the uh, seitan, like really nice and crispy. It's the same way I make my my seitan nuggets, and he absolutely loves them. He's always asking for it, and there you go, baby. Is it delicious? Good. Good. More than delicious. A lot more than delicious. Good. So that's it, you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a big old thumbs up if you liked it. Also, don't forget to check out my second channel, which I do vlogs, and it's a little more personal and all that good stuff. The link will be down below. Um, don't forget to tag me on Instagram if you make this recipe or any of my other recipes. I would love to see what you guys think about it and how it turned out for you. And yeah, I will talk to you guys very soon.